happy oh my god i look naked <laughs> hello happy friday uh welcome back to the stream i was like oh my god i look like my sims the other day <laughs> not blurred oh my god i literally look this is eh, eh. maybe if i i don't want people popping into the stream and thinking like where is this girl's clothes at sorry you know there's certain there's certain demographics <clears throat> with penises that I try to really not attract unless they're like Kendrick and some of y'all's cool spouses um and a couple others that are chill but in general um your eye makeup is so on point today oh thanks thanks I did put on makeup today because thank you Raylene thank you Amanda thank you Mistress of Games or Nika uh 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 I had to put oh I didn't have to but I wanted to put on makeup today because I had, did y'all, I don't know if y'all remember me telling you, I had my hair consultation today. Oh my god, thank you Sharon for all the hand hearts. Um, also, if y'all didn't notice, we are at the circus today and I got big plans. Oh, let me bring us in to create a sim because I want to show you everybody's makeovers. Um, uh, thank you very soon, thank you Rin. Um, how was the appointment? Oh, brother, let me tell you here in a second. Um, drinking tonight. I actually have this iced coffee that's gonna fuck up my stomach <laughs> and the water I'm kind of trying to even out the coffee and the water it's iced too this is my celestial shadows cup I do plan on writing celestial shadows still but after having a writing coach and learning literally just a little bit about writing I really want to go back through and rewrite every single chapter I had so far um and I plan on doing that at some point and doing a whole revamp whenever I continue on but for now my writing project is the book I'm actually going to publish first it's about to storm if I if my, the stream disappears my power went out so if that happens deepest apologies um thank you Emily for the roses a writing coach sounds cool it is it is cool um but it's also a real big uh uh slap in the face <laughs> a real big uh wake like i don't know um it, it was really cool that one of the things my writing coach told me in our last meeting she said she said and i quote i never tell clients this but i think you have an overwhelmingly uh high chance of being successful and i was like really <laughs> um so that was nice that was really nice to hear uh yes you do i literally think i'm only able to like make cool things because i have such a great support system which is y'all if i didn't have y'all i think i mean i would still be like making things but i think i only have like the confidence to like uh keep making so many things i have so many different projects i do every single day that it is just because first of all i like making y'all happy <laughs> i like making things for y'all to enjoy and then i always get such great feedback to where it's like i keep wanting to create more i don't know how i mean i guess perseverance but i don't know how like the creators and the authors and things they get so much hate have the have it in them to make things still i feel like that would take the joy of it out of like from me you know what i mean um, thank you, Pissy, for the singing mic. Um, you got what it takes. I love your storytelling. Thank you. Uh, does your writing coach know about the swamp in your sim stories? So when I first got my writing coach, I had to go through the process of picking one. And when you're finding a writing coach, basically, you get quotes from people, you read their resume, you see their portfolio, portfolio on like books they've helped with and things like that. But also, you send them, like, the first couple chapters of what you're working on or some of your writing, and they give you sample edits. So these sample edits, basically, they send you, like, pages worth of, like, feedback, what they think about what their overall impression of the book is, basically, off of a couple chapters, things that they like, things that they um, notice that you need to work on in your writing, and then just overall edits in the things, like, in line edit so you can see if you like their their tone <laughs> um their way of coaching if you like uh the edits that they're giving you and everything 
So you're so talented, bringing so much joy. Thank you. Um, so that's the process of finding a writing coach is you're really kind of interviewing them. Um, so whenever, I forgot what the actual question was. Fuck, what was the question about having a writing coach? Um, 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 um. I will say the majority of the edits that I get right now, though, are peer edits. So I have friends that read my stuff. And once again, I didn't have friends until this. Most of my friends, almost all of my friends, are people I've met in the Discord just like y'all. Like, Amanda, like you see Amanda Bob in here, she reads my stuff like every single day. It sends me feedback. Um, does she know about the swamp in your sims? Oh, that was what I was getting to. Thank you, Rachel, for the hand heart. Um, so when I was interviewing writing coaches, I did not tell any of them that I had a following. Um, and even when I first got uh, my coach, Shannon, I did not tell her I had a following because I didn't want to be treated differently because uh, they think I'll be able to sell something. You know what I mean? So I wanted to get the same feedback either way. Now, I've been working with her for a little bit, and now she knows I have a following, um, and that I post videos on Sims and things like that, and, um, so yeah, now she knows, but at first I did not want her knowing at all, um, uh, because I really wanted to make sure that I was working with the right person who believed in my story because they thought it was good, not because of anything else. So, anyways, um, thank you, Wholesome Ghost, for sending us sub. Thank you so much. Um, and I believe that goes towards the competition that they still won't show the rankings for. I have no idea where I'm ranked at in the subscription competition. All I know is it's great that I've stayed over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> um, thank you, Miss Vicky. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, I wonder if she watches. Maybe she's here right now. I don't know. I don't think so. She's literally an editor, so she probably is reading all the fucking time. Um, love, love the cycle. Thank you. Also, I'm going to tell you all about my appointment today, too, but I will show you a couple of these looks real quick. So I redid, um, her name's Ebony. Uh, remember we down the, oh my gosh, she doesn't have shoes on. Hold on. I don't have fucking, oh, this is her winter wear. Okay, now she has shoes on. So that's her formal. Um, thank you, Haley, for following. Welcome. So here's Ebony. Um, remember, we downloaded her off the gallery, but then to be someone's baby mama. Um, but then I've made some changes to her after getting her from the, the gallery. Um, I have changed her outfits and whatnot. I left her sleepwear like this. He 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 he. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really like her. Really cute. Really, really cute. Is the competition called Subscription Leaderboard? Yes, it is. If y'all can, for some reason, um, see it, then let me know where I'm placing, because it won't show me. Um, it won't show me at all. Uh, she's a beautiful, right? Um, I haven't been alive in so long, my cat got diabetes. Oh, no! I guess, I was gonna say I didn't know cats could get diabetes, but I guess that would make sense. I guess, uh, pretty much any mammal can get diabetes. Um, thank you, Kayla, for the heart me. Says it starts in six hours. That's what it said last night, though, is the thing. Last night it said it was going to start in six hours, like the ranking. But it said that on the dates, that technically the competition's already started a few days ago, but the rankings wouldn't show for another seven hours. It says it hasn't started yet. I don't even fucking know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Amanda's here. Hello. Um, thank you, Freckles. The next makeover I will show you is the other girls, Marzi. Now, I'm gonna keep forgetting their fucking names, so I'm around them a little bit more. Here is Marzi's makeover. I like her a lot. I like this bitch a lot. I liked her before she was getting fucked on the casket, too. And then that really just did it for me. That really just sealed the deal for me. Um, before... Oh my god, thank you, Bruce, for the hat mustache. Um, so, uh, before I get into the rest of the makeovers, let me tell you about my fucking appointment today. So, I told y'all, I want to get the ends of my hair dyed, like, blue and purple. And, yes, I do want them with kind of light. Um, thank you, Sierra, for the hand heart. Thank you. Um, are we at the circus? We are. Um, so, I did, I've been trying to be very professional about this. <laughs> so, I first, I did my research online of all of the different, you know, hair places in my area, 
and there was one and it is a relatively i think the place opened in like the past three years or something so it hasn't been around for a super long time but it was like downtown which is far from me i had to drive like 40 minutes um but it was like downtown and um it's like supposed to their whole thing is like fashion colors like their whole thing is like these vivid pretty colors um competition starts on the 25th it keeps changing what it says then it literally keeps changing oh my god thank you madamus prime for sending five subs thank you so much because on my shit literally like 10 minutes ago it said it started i feel like it said it started on the 18th but it wouldn't show the leaderboard yet i don't know i don't know i don't fucking know anymore um did you fix the lot trait nope I sure as fuck did not fix any of the lot traits. I haven't really changed a lot at all. Um, anyways, so I researched the place, and this place is supposed to be for fun colors, right? That's, like, their whole name to fame or whatever. Or uh, is that how you say the saying? I don't fucking know. Anyways, so I email them because they have an email, and I email them. I basically say what I want, when I want to get it done, because I want to get it done in the next two weeks before I go on my book retreat. And um, I put in there pictures of my hair right now, and I put in there my hair history, and I told them in the email what I want my hair to look like with pictures of what I want it to look like, what my hair looks like now, my full hair, hair history, everything. I emailed the, like this was a business email, if you will, to a business, so claim to fame. Yeah, that. So, I get an email back. They're so lovely. They're like, hey, would you mind coming in on Friday for a um, consultation? They're, first of all, they said, yeah, we can do that. Um, Looks super cute, whatever. Can you come in on Friday for a consultation so we can do a test strip? And I was like, yeah. So, um, it's been so long since I caught a live. Missed it here. We missed you. So, um, 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 I go in. To get this test strip done because like I said the colors that I'm wanting in the bottom of my hair I'm kind of wanting like a like a mermaid kind of balayage if you will um and uh I come in I meet the girl and she is young this girl is young I mean she's probably like 19 okay and um I come in she is she's got her customer service voice on i'm like okay points <laughs> um and she the place is really cute and she's like okay uh come sit down over here i was the only person in there this morning i got there early and um she sits me down she's like okay so i i saw your email i'm like what are you wanting to do i show her the picture again <laughs> um thank you to court fire thank you wholesome ghost thank you sharon and amanda thank you guys so much and thank you for completing the first live goal but i'm sitting down I, uh, <laughs> show her the picture again. I once again talk about my hair history and whatnot. And then she proceeds to go on a, I shit you not, 15 minutes talking straight. I mean, not a breath was spared. And I'm just nodding in the mirror as she starts going on and on about, uh, first of all, I didn't even know some of the fucking words she's using, but she's like talking about my hair and she's like, um, basically she's telling me everything she can't do. She's telling me everything she can't do, everything she's, uh, I don't even, it was so much that I started like disassociating, okay? And, um, and she kept saying, but we're going to do the test strip and blah, blah, blah. And then she would circle around to the beginning again and start from the beginning to the top about all the things she couldn't do. And I was like, oh my God. So, 15 minutes of that goes by. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Jenny Pisiki. Um, Thank you, Max, for the duck. Uh, <laughs> and um, I'm like, okay, we're going to do a test strip. She has another customer comes in that needs, like, a little haircut or something. So, she does two test strips in my hair that are both in two different sections of my hair because she says that it looks like two different parts of my hair have had different amounts of dye or something. So, in the back and in the front, there's a test strand. And thank you, Peggy. And so she puts the test in. She's like, can you go sit on the couch over there? And we're going to check on it in 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, she's with her customer. And um, she has this other girl come. And this other little girl is really sweet. This other little girl is really fucking uh, sweet. And she comes over. She checks it. And she was like, do you have time to, like, wait a little bit longer? Because it's only been 15 minutes. Um, 
can you wait like another 15, 20 minutes to see how much lighter this gets? And I was like, yeah, sure. So she goes and tells the girl, she's like, honestly, I think we give it another 15, 20 minutes. It might be okay. Cause the other girl, my original girl was saying, she was like, before she even did the test strand, she's talking about, I think for us to maybe even come close to like what you're wanting, um, we would need to do a 12 hour session um, and we would have to charge by the hour for that. And then it would just be me and that other girl over there. And, um, and we would need to, uh, do all, we would need to strip your hair of all the color first, and then we're going to need to bleach it. And then we would need to try to process it and whatever. And she was like, and then I, we would probably get like maybe close to what you're wanting. Like she was telling me all this just to be like, and then it wouldn't even be what you wanted. And I was like, oh heavens. So anyways, I'm feeling, I'm texting at this point. I'm sitting on the couch as my little test strips are processing. And I'm in a group chat with my friend Lakin, and I'm in a group chat with Amanda Bob, okay? So me, Lakin, and Amanda Bob are texting in a group chat. Thank you, Elmi, for the game controllers. Also, thank you, uh, Rachel and Lachey um, and Jenny. So I'm fucking, 12 hours, that's longer than it took me to give birth, right? So I'm fucking... I'm texting from the couch because I'm concerned. Also, if y'all didn't know this about Amanda Bob, Amanda Bob in here is a hair hairdresser, okay? So I'm texting them and I'm like, I'm telling them what the bitch said, right? But I'm like, but we're doing the test strands right now to see how much my hair lifts with just the bleach, I guess. And um, girl, no, I have dark hair. It takes five to six hours to get my hair bleached and dyed. Lord, <laughs> had, to send, had to send some to show love because I can't stay long tonight. Oh, okay, I appreciate you sending stuff. Um, so anyways, uh, the other little girl comes back and checks on my hair at the 30 minute mark and she goes, she said, this is lifting really well. She said, your hair is lifting really great. Um, she's like, I honestly, I don't see why this couldn't be done in just one, you know, session, whatever. And she closed it back. The other girl hears this. She comes over. She looks at it. And she was like, no, there's no way it could be done in one session. She was like, and because the other girl, the little girl I liked, she was like um, saying how, and I think she must be, maybe she has to be an assistant right now or something. I don't know. Because it seemed like she was kind of like supposed to be assisting or something. But anyway, she was saying that she didn't think it needed to be like stripped. Um... But the other, or I don't know what the terminology is, like the hair color didn't need to be corrected first to be bleached and whatever. So anyways, the original girl looks at my uh, test strands and is like, so basically what we can do is you can come in twice in the next two weeks and we can do two different few hour long sessions and then we could maybe get to close to what you're wanting but I can't promise it'll even be that then and blah, 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 blah. Like, she was not exuding confidence, okay? She's not giving me uh, any hope. She was really stressing me the fuck out, actually. And then the quote was close to my fucking mortgage to be like, you might not even get the correct results. And so, uh, I don't know anything about hair, but the comments are saying, you need a second opinion. <laughs> yeah, see, Amanda's saying there, the way this girl just did not want to do it. That's what I'm thinking, like, and so I'm texting Amanda, and I'm texting my friend Lakin in a group chat, and Lakin's like, bitch, we can just do this at home. She was like, girl, I, she was like, we can find a show to watch and order some food, and we can fucking get the, like, because I'm not even wanting anything, like, I'm wanting a fun color on the ends of my hair. Okay, and also I'm not one of those people who's just like, oh my god, my hair needs to not be damaged in any sort of way. My hair fucking grows like weeds. Okay, it'll grow back. Fuck. Um, if you can't do it, just say that. No, literally, if you don't know how to do it, just say that. Thank you, Wholesome Ghost, for sending us up. Um, from reading the comments, my expert opinion is you should go somewhere else. My sister is a hairstylist as well. You sh uh, and definitely don't let them do your hair. Time for DIY hair color time. Well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like we're just gonna, okay, to be fair, I have a lot of hair and maybe this was intimidating for her because she knows that it's gonna be a lot of work. And I knew that going into this, like I was prepared to, like I've been saving up, I've been prepared to spend some money to get this done. But for her to say that it was going to be the, I 
y'all guess at the fucking quote she gave me. And for her to say that she didn't even think she was going to be successful? Bitch, that? Oh, hell no. Oh, absolutely not. Whatever you do, do not use splat. Noted. Noted. 12 hours. Yeah, and 12 hours, bro? 12 hours? So what, $560? Higher. It was, y'all, it was over. It was over $500 for sure. Um, so, yeah, in 12 hours. 12 hours. So, the options were, I could come in for, and get it done in one day, and for the 12 hours, and the rate would be $100 an hour plus $25 for every extra bowl they had to use. So, or I could come in, in two different sessions and they said that would be cheaper at $700 plus $25 for every extra bowl they had to use. And that's before tipping them, okay? Um, I'm sorry. Do I look like Kim fucking Kardashian? Do I, do I look like the type of bitch who spent, do y'all see my nails? Did these look done? Did, look at my cuticles, okay? Look at my Walmart eyeliner. Um... Um, look at my stick and poke tattoo, if you will, okay? Um, do I look like I'm gonna spend $1,200 to get blue in my hair? By a girl who, when I looked at her little thing, she's been doing hair for two years? I beg your earliest available fucking pardon. Um, no, 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 no. I will go to Sally's. I will throw a 20 at Lakin and she will gladly sit there and play in my fucking hair all day long till it looks per perfect. With her friend Madeline, that first of all, Madeline was aggravating shit all the time for Lakin and Lakin still sat in the bathroom with her for fucking eight hours re-bleach her hair to her heart's desire until they got the results they wanted um if it was a tattoo okay not hair a tattoo lasts fucking forever okay uh toss like in a 20 no literally she'll t she'd do it for less she would do it for less okay that's like a new set of tires that literally somebody else said that to me too 700 simoleons it's just the end no literally and i i understand i have a lot of hair Y'all, my hair is long as fuck, okay? I have very thick, very long, luscious, gorgeous hair. And I understand that I have a lot of fucking hair, but I'm about to try to find my test strip. Where'd it go? I have so much hair, I can't even fucking find it. I wish I could show you how light this shit got, though. I have no idea where it is. It's probably in the- the one's probably in the back. I don't know where my test strip went. Hold on, I can show you a picture of how I took a picture of it earlier. Because y'all are gonna be like... And this was only 30 minutes. It only took 30 minutes for it to get this light. And this girl was talking about it was going to be impossible. And she would, I mean, the confidence was not there. The confidence was not in the room. This is my test strand. I don't know where the fuck it is in my hair right this second. Do y'all see this? Y'all, how much lighter did she want it to get? I think that is about as fucking perfect as you could ask for. Especially because my hair has been dyed plenty of times before. Uh, that lift is amazing. Right? Right? That's my hair today. It's somewhere in here. But fucking absolutely not. She is so wrong for that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, sorry I've been going on about the story for so fucking long. <laughs> my bad. But yeah, so me and Lakin are probably just going to do it at my house. Anyways, next makeover um, is, uh, okay, so this is Cage, and I think Cage is that dude that, um, um, your friends make fun of you for fucking, but you know that he's kind of really good in bed. <laughs> like, so you just take the roastings. Uh, we had a lot to catch up on. Exactly, exactly. We needed this FaceTime moment. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Y'all understand that, like, I'm a person, and y'all are people, and, like, 
I'm here for the human connection, you know what I mean? I do love being an entertainer, but at the same time, uh, uh, I cannot, I cannot just bring myself to being one of those streamers that is simply just has my performer face on the whole time. I'm just fucking a person, and y'all are my friends, so, um, is that a lipstick print tattoo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're all besties, exactly. It's giving I chime in with a haven't you people ever heard of? <laughs> Yeah, we're all friends at this point, truly. Oh, oh, also, in the Discord, I, it's, it, it, uh, hold on, hold on, gather your words, bitch. Um, it's officially in the Discord now. There's a new little section at the top where you can, um, there's a Google form that you can nominate people for Pixie of the Month. So, if you win Pixie of the Month, which is going to be announced on the 1st, and this is not a popularity contest, I would like to say that. It's not a popularity contest. It's not who gets the most nominations. It's not how many times. It does not matter if someone was nominated one time or 50 times. All of the names are just going to be written one time on a list for me and the Ministry of Magic to look at and, like, read the reasons and everything. And also we see in the Discord all the time all the messages. So, and then we're going to vote and pick somebody from the list. It's not you got to be the most popular person in there. It's not you have to be the most extroverted person ever to win. Anyways, whoever wins on the first, and this is going to be a monthly thing, um, whoever uh, wins on the first, I'm going to ask them for their Amazon wish list. Um, and if they don't have one, I'm going to ask them to create one. Um, and I'm going to ask that they put, you know, several things that are under $20 on their list so that I can post it in the Discord for everybody in the Discord to see. And hopefully we can shower the Pixie of the Month with um, some love every month. And it'll be a really fun thing for different people to experience um, every month. I think it'll be really great, really fun, and a great way for us to um, send some love to each other. So, anyways, don't forget to nominate somebody. Um, when are you going to upload more building streams on... My computer can't keep up with me. I'm about to have to get a second fucking computer at some point. Um, so that I can, like... Because I can only do so many, my computer can only run so fast. And it's really difficult for me to make all this content. Because things, the thing with videos is, I can work a lot faster than the computer can. A lot of these things take a long time to process. It takes a long time just to download the videos of my streams to then be able to edit them. And then after I edit them, I have to then download that. And then after I download the saved version of that, I have to upload it to YouTube. And then create a thumbnail and all these things. So it's a longer process than it probably sounds like to do all of these things. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, give me panic at the disco. No, it is. It definitely is. But this one's Cage. Uh, also, his traits are um, goofball, romantic, and adventurous. Um, so this one is Cage. Also, I don't have, I don't know yet. Which ones are going to be, like, what his job at the circus is going to be? It's giving circus and kind of carnival vibes. I'm kind of, I kind of combine them. Also, thank you, Carrie. Thank you, April. Um, so, uh, we'll have to see what their talents are. Um, and then the last makeover, well, first of all, I'll go back over the other ones. He didn't get a makeover. Um, this is, uh, Strongman Polino. Okay, he didn't get a makeover. He's still the same. Also, Skip did not get a makeover. He still looks the same. He's actually really sexy to me. Um, and then, uh, he does something with the cards for sure. He would treat you like a queen. No, literally. Like, he smells like cigarettes and your friends roast you for, uh, talking to this man, but ain't nobody ever put it down like him. I feel like he's got that vibe. Um, and then we got Hazel Honeycut, our bearded lady. Very gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Um, and then our last one is Casket. And dare I say, I don't know what about him just, and this is not my type, but it could be. It could be. Like, that man will break your heart. <laughs> Brittersnitter was quick with it. Um, did you fix a lot? No, I haven't. Types change. 
mine just grows. I would not even say it changes. It's like a garden that I keep getting more fucking seeds and I keep sprinkling them. And I fertilize the shit out of it too. <laughs> like, not change. Growth. <laughs> it's overgrowing. Sometimes I get a couple weeds in there. I gotta pluck them out. But other than that, like, it's the hair. He would steal the shampoo. Thank you, Kelsey, for the game controllers. Not he would steal the fucking shampoo. Oh my god. Um, But yeah, this is just a dude. Like, he really doesn't even look specific to the circus. Like, I think he's just, he's just fucking, first of all, he's strong like his father. Um, Thank you, Raylan. Oh my god, and Myrda just sent 10 subs. Thank you so much, Myrda. I feel like Myrda is always in here supporting the stream so much. Thank you. Um, add some eyeliner, and it's over. He ain't got no bells and whistles right now. And I think his style will develop as we figure out what his act is going to be. But right now, um, he ain't got no bells or whistles. He's just a dude. He's just a fucking, just a fucking dude. Um, uh, it's them little lines right there. And he's got a little bit of hip on him. Like, I feel like a lot of the Sims are, like, very narrow. But he's got a little bit of hip on him. And the... I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of... It's giving something. It's giving something. I just don't know what. I'll catch up on YouTube. Have fun, everyone. Bye, Jennifer. Thank you for being here. Um, that's the dude. <laughs> the V. The V always does it for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emily, for the game controller. Um, gymnast, that's possible. That's possible. I'm late. Are we doing the occult challenge? No, I'm at my circus. I've actually just been fucking talking for 35 minutes, basically, but... Thank you, Myrna, for the game controllers. Also, don't forget we got Cheeto. Now we gotta work on his little training. Also, I do want to point out that in real life, I am not for, uh, treatment, like, terrible treatment of circle, circus animals, okay? I would like to just go ahead and put that out there, um, right now, and remind everybody that I am playing again. Um, just before I get any type of shit, we love Cheeto. Cheeto loves being a part of the circus, <laughs> and, uh, uh... Yeah, this is not historically accurate at all. Can Cheeto have a hat? I tried putting fucking clothes on Cheeto, but because he's still a kitten or a baby lion or baby... What is this, a tiger? Yeah, there's stripes. Um, <laughs> because he's a baby tiger, we can't put uh, clothes on him yet, but when he ages up, we can. Um, thank you, Anastasia... Or Anastasia. Oh my god, I almost called you Anastasia again. There was a long time... First of all, thank you for sending 10 subs. I used to call Anastasia Anastasia for a long time. And finally, one day she messages me on Discord and is like, I think we are now close enough that I can tell you my name is pronounced Anastasia. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, this is a good circus, right? Right? Also, thank you guys for completing that goal. I'm going to set up a new one, and then we are going into the circus. Um, um, let's do the hat mustache, because I like being a mustache man in here. I do. Oh. Fuck. I clicked the wrong thing. Also, it got pointed out to me about my book. Because I'm pretty deep into my book now. Um, as you guys know, I plan on being done with the manuscript this summer, early autumn at latest. And um, it got pointed out to me today that I have said fuck. Uh, how many times have I said fuck in it? It was literally... Listen to these statistics really quick. I have, uh, where to go, where to go, where to go. In my book so far, I have said fuck 48 times, shit 21 times, hell three times, bitch three times, piss four times. And I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to cut out some of those fucks. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut out some, 48 fucks is crazy. 48 fucks is crazy. Because it was, it was pointing out to me, and I was like, the main character does not cuss that much. And then, Lakin sent in the group, it was in the group, I got called out in a group chat, too. 
She said, she said, fuck 48 times, shit 21, hell 3, bitch 3, and piss 4. F word is for flavor. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, uh, you just need a little emphasis on what, what the fuck you're trying to say. You know what I mean? Um, but I was like, damn, I am gonna have to go through, and I, she didn't even count how many times I said damn. Actually, I don't think my main character says damn. There is another character that I've heard say damned. But my main character, I don't think she uses that verbiage. Um, lot trades. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it. I swear. Even though I don't think we're having any babies this episode, so it shouldn't matter. How many chapters? Uh, chapters that are actually finished. Now, there are some chapters I've written out that aren't placed into the manuscript yet because I haven't pieced those puzzles together. But actually, like, chronologically finished chapters, I think is, like, close to... 30 or something like that it's a lot it is a lot and some of those chapters are really fucking long and they're going to be broken up into multiple chapters um thank you wholesome girls thank you jordan um also thank you stephanie for sending five subs thank you so much i really hope i think i really hope all these subscriptions that you are sending go towards this competition i'm in i swear it said they already started it's just not showing the leaderboard yet um anyway so we are at the circus today uh uh that's not even two fucks per chapter <laughs> exactly exactly it's not that many fucks um thank you producer for the half mustache hell yeah brother also is anybody drinking for friday night um we will be opening up the circus okay midwife you can get the fuck out see this is why my main character says fuck constantly she's basically just me with a piss poor at it well you know what let me not tell you anything about her I'm gonna let you be surprised when the book comes out. But, um, uh, can we dismiss this bitch, please? Anyways, welcome back to the circus. Um, we are gonna be having our opening night. Now, right now, the circus does look busted, to say the least. Um, it, I mean, yeah. Oh, she only charged us 60 simoleons to have a baby? Hell yeah, brother. Um, tea it's a truly kind of night um are we building up some of the rooms today no we're gonna see how the circus goes with uh just having it the way it is tonight um can someone clean this fucking litter box clean litter a trash can is required well one thing we're gonna build is we're gonna get a damn trash can um but we're gonna see how our first night of the circus goes and then um we'll be making changes in the future uh, uh, I started my new job working weekends. Oh, I'm glad you got a new job. A tra okay, I guess we need a bigger trash can. I guess we need a bigger trash can. Y'all hear that storm looming outside? What is this? It's an interesting one. Um, I guess we'll do this trash can over by the... Damn, where can I... Where can I fit this? That's what he said not in my butthole it's new um come over here and also y'all i wish i could show you a picture um my what do you mean we can't a trash can is required to clean stuff. we have one two trash can i'm buying a new litter box i'm buying a new fucking litter box no because it, where's the self-cleaning one i'm not dealing with this i'm not dealing with this shit they can't make me they can't force me they can't hold me at gunpoint or at cockroach. Like, you will not make me have to deal with this fucking litter box situation anymore. Much better. Um, this is supposed to be for our tiger, um, in theory, so that other people don't get scared whenever we have the circus. This will be, but whenever, um, Cheeto ages up, we're gonna make it cuter in here for Cheeto. He's gonna have a bougie, uh, uh, cage for people, uh, to come look at. Or we might just let him fucking roam around. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we will see um i wish it was storm here i don't want to water my garden <sighs> my garden looks fucking terrible absolutely heinous look at all these mushrooms mushroom oh i was about to tell y'all well you probably oh also we don't need this little kitty bowl i realize we actually have food bowls everywhere um and one of them i think is already filled up in this house too also, nobody had- Ew, it's stinky, though. Okay, you come clean 
this up. Also, the circus is starting at 7 p.m. It's only 2 a.m. right now, and that's why uh, the people aren't here yet. Apparently, what? who are you? Are you Casket? Yeah. Casket it thinks the place is poorly decorated. Yeah, we all fucking know that. And he doesn't like that there's mice everywhere. Um, which gardens are we talking about here? Both. Um, uh, I have a yard of pumpkins coming up. I want a yard of pumpkins. Um, uh, uh, attractiveness alert. Y'all, I'm really scared that the stream is gonna go out because of the storm. I'm so scared because this is like one of my, the circus is like one of my favorites right now. I'm having such a fucking good time with this circus. Wow, what a sim. Strongman Polino just stopped. Let me save actually really quick before, just in case the power goes out. Just in case. Um, also, I do have like a, what do you call them things that keep it from if the power goes out, it doesn't fuck up my system. I have one of those, so don't be worried. Um, that storm just passed through my area. It's hitting me now. But anyway, Strongman Polino just stopped what they were thinking about and found themselves staring at Ebony. Well, Ebony is our girl. Y'all are not the ones who are supposed to be together. And you know what's crazy? Damn. What's crazy is his wife is wanted by the other man. Now, we know that he'd be fucking her, his wife, in the room of mirrors. But he thinks about the other girl. Not them wanting to swap partners, literally. What the hell? What the hell? I hit enter on accident. Oh, no. Oh, no. Strong man with strong feelings. That's what I'm saying. Y'all, why do I want him? I don't know what's happening to me because this is not my my usual. Why can't you get inside there? Wait a minute. Why can't you get... What's the problem? Walk right here. Is it this fucking trash can that I can't even fucking use? Uh, oh, now I can hear the thunder there. Yeah, it's incoming. Mm, that actually sounds really soothing. That feels like a massage on my ears. <laughs> I have a thing with sounds. Um, you know that ASMR shit? Okay, first of all, I don't know when ASMR became a trend, but to me it was more than that. Um, I first got into ASMR because in 20... Was it 2014? I believe 2015 is 2015 when it became popular 2014 I uh, was the first time I had to go to rehab and um uh I was a child <laughs> um and also basically when you're a kid getting sent to a rehab facility and this was more than just rehab it was really for like the only reason I call it rehab is because they made me take a drug test every day. Well, it was also rehab. Well, 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 it was basically like, uh, IOP, if you know what that is. So, um, also surprising. Thank you. So it was like, uh, basically, what does IOP stand for? Um, I don't know. But basically, if you've never been to one of these places, um, there's a bunch of therapists everywhere and this is my experience as a child going I have not had to go as an adult I've only had to go as a child so uh intensive outpatient yes I've done IOP okay that's what I was doing so and this is the reason why I didn't get to finish high school at school and why I had to finish it online is because uh I got in trouble and then I ended up having to and I had a lot of like family stuff going on and everything but anyways IOP is intensive outpatient, which is basically kind of like a rehab facility that you don't have to sleep at. So that is what I had to do, okay? So, um, sorry, I'm having like a <laughs> flashback. But anyways, you what happens is you go in the morning and you're there Monday through Friday, kind of like a job, okay? You get there like 8 a.m. and you leave at 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, instead of going to school, Instead of being able to do normal teenager -y things, you had to go to this fucking IOP Monday through Friday. And um, you had to be drug tested every single day and have a breathalyzer every single day. And when I say they drug test you every single day, they literally like watch you pee, drug test you every single day. Um, and they also document whatever, because when you go in there, you probably already have something in your system. So they document like the levels of it so they can tell if it's going down or going up. 
Um, my husband did IOP, but virtually. That sounds nice. They did get us Chick-fil-A on Fridays. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I was in there not solely because of uh, substance issues, but because of, like, other things. Like, there is where I got diagnosed with, like, PTSD, BPD, things like that. And um, they, in a group setting and on a one-on-one -on -one setting, you get to talk to a therapist and other teenagers your age about whatever trauma you've endured and whatever, right? And um, I'm trying to remember where I was going with this goddamn story now. What was the point of this story? There was something to do with it. Fuck, what was it? What was it? Um, 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 scrolling up, scrolling up. Oh, ASMR! Okay. ASMR. So, this is in, I believe, 2014 was the one I'm thinking about. So, basically, at in a group setting, we were talking about different coping mechanisms for different things. And um, one of the therapists started talking about ASMR. I had never heard of such. And she started talking about the tingles and whatever. And so I had, and still do have, um, but I had at that time too, a really difficult time with sleep. Um, and a lot of that was because I would get really bad nightmares. And like nightmares, I couldn't fucking wake up from nightmares. And so uh, I had a really hard time like relaxing and going to sleep. And so then I started listening to on YouTube, there is this video of this fucking man in a suit. It's really creepy. And I would not recommend unless you are down for shit like this. I loved it. It's still on YouTube. I started watching it then. Um, so there's this man on YouTube in a suit that whispers. <laughs> can, uh, he talks about, he. I can still, I can quote it for the past like 10 years. It's like, he'll, he'll be talking about my pocket, pocket, pocket. <laughs> like, repeating words, whispering them and shit. And I got into ASMR then um, for sleep. And, um, really great. Really great. <laughs> Girl, I swear we live this <laughs> I work in a mental health office. That sounds, uh, fun, but also stressful. Um, I can't stand ASMR. I, I mean, I wouldn't just listen to it during the day for fun, but, um, uh, I, it definitely, it, I don't know if it was just so jarring to listen to that made me calm down or so interesting, but it really helped me sleep. Um... Apparently, Cage dislikes mischief. I refuse to believe that. No. I refuse. Um, now we can fill up our kitty bowl. Fill up all of the bowls. He's trying to clean up the damn circus. He's like, we got people coming. Not Casket being the one worried about people seeing this. Also, the rain is here. It sounds really nice. It sounds, uh... I just don't like the eating sound. Ew! No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I don't like the eating sounds. I don't like people with their little makeup brushes. I don't like the... No. But this man, like, whispering and reading boring shit to go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Uh, but it really, it really did it for me. Um, thank you, Freckles Literary Lover and Wholesome Ghost. Uh, what other comments did I miss? I hear it. Sounds nice. I listen to rain sounds asleep. My introduction to ASMR was Goodnight Moon. She does a fantasy role play that's neat. Hmm. I don't think I've been on role play ASMR uh, talk. Thank you, Red, for the hat mustache. Hell yeah, brother. Damn, it's getting loud. Okay, now. All right. Simmer down. Um, He's really tense about the... Oh, my God. Maybe he is not cut out for the circus. He's tense as fuck. Are they arguing? What's y'all's problem? What's y'all's problem? I forgot. They're supposed to be working on their skills. Why is he... Baby envy. Not this grown man having baby envy. Some people just can't seem to keep it to themselves, especially about their baby, from other sim bragging about baby. Are you referring to this baby? You're jealous over this baby right here? Is it just me, or does it sound like the rain is about to come into my house? Um. Anyways... Uh, 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 and then it says he wants to go stomp on some trash. Okay, Cage. Okay, Cage. You know what? I did only allow y'all to be babies for, I think, five seconds. So I'm allow you, I'm allow you, allowing <coughs> um, you to be a little immature. Thank you, Kelsey. Um, 
No, my dogs freak the fuck out too. One of my dogs, my biggest one, is really scared of rain. Like he's a um he's a pit bull and when it storms he fucking freaks the hell out. Um, where's Cheeto? Because we need to start working on Cheeto's little Look at this baby! Look at this fucking baby! How many animals do you have? Have I ever had or do I currently have? I used to live on a farm at one point. And I already know that comment alone is going to get people saying you have lived a thousand lives. I know. I know. I know. Um, but I used to live on a farm. So I used to have a lot of fucking animals. Um, but personally, in my house, uh, uh, currently, I have one cat, Phineas. I did used to have a Ferb. He is no longer with us. Uh, not by my choice. Um, it was actually really sad when I lost him because I had my um, screen door at my old house closed and I went to go get the mail and whenever I went to go get the mail he pushed the screen door open and ran away and um, I tried like putting his like litter box and all different types of things on my porch and I tried like calling for him and everything and then there was a really bad like few days of storms after that where it got really fucking cold at night and he never came back and that was right after he had just been in the animal hospital too for several days which was extremely expensive because he had like a urinary infection or something where they had to like do IV fluids and everything. He had a blockage I think. This was like two years ago that I lost Ferb. Anyway so I have Phineas. Um, he never came back and whenever I moved out of that house I was like actually I kept thinking that like Ferb was eventually gonna come back and so having to move out of that house I was devastated because I was like okay now I'm really never gonna find Ferb. Um, so I don't know if Ferb found a new home or if he died or what happened. He probably died, honestly, because he was a sickly cat. Um, but I have Phineas. He's a very sweet baby. My sister is taking Phineas with her when she moves out in July. Um, not because I asked her to, because she begged me. She begged me. Sydney has Sydney moved in with me last September or August is when Sydney moved in with me because she moved from Oklahoma. And, um, my sister loves cats. She used to have a cat herself, and he died from AIDS. And, um, his name was Ollie. He was very cute. Anyways, she loved that cat. He died from AIDS. And then she moved in with me, and I had my cat Phineas. And Phineas is the biggest baby. The biggest freaking baby. And, um, he, like, sleeps in the bed with Sydney now. And they really bond. She's fell, fallen in love with him. And she begged me. She already knows where she's moving out. And she has, she's going to be roommates with one of my fr my old friends from high school, actually. Um, but uh, she has a plan of where she's moving out in July. It's closer to her job, close to downtown where we live. And it's going to be really fun for her. Close to her. Oh, did I tell you all she has a boyfriend? I did. Closer to her boyfriend now and everything. And she asked if she could please take Phineas with her. So I will not have a cat anymore in, after July. Um, feline AIDS is so hard. We lost our kitty to that. It's so, the fiv is so sad. So freaking sad. Y'all look at these clowns with the mask. With your little Tamlin mask. Um, OMG, I'm so mad I missed a whole Friday live. Oh, we're still continuing on. We're going late because I haven't even started the actual circus yet. We have to wait till 7 p.m. I think in the game. And I've just been fucking talking. We're basically on a FaceTime call. Um, thank you Jenny for the hat and mustache. So, um, next I have my first animal that I got as an adult. Well, actually I was a teenager when I got her. Um, and I really didn't even have a, like, secure, uh, place to live yet. Um, so she was just rocking with me wherever I was staying as a puppy. And, uh, she's the most independent of my, of my children, if you will. Uh, her name's Peggy. And um, her entire litter was named after Hamilton characters. I did not name her. Her name was already Peggy. And I was like, that's beautiful. Because um, I do love Hamilton. So also, I'm going to get our little girl to come over here. And oh, she's about to piss herself. Girl, don't. I'm going to get her to come over here and chat with our scarecrow. Because we still haven't seen him like come alive yet. Oh, she's waking up morning dew. Ebony seems to be experiencing some arousing effects. Oh, my God. Wait, she wet the bed? Or did she wet the bed by mistake? Oh, hell. Oh, Jesus. And Peggy. Exactly. Um, I'll catch the rest on YouTube. We're gonna put the kid in bed. Night, y'all. Love you. Love you, too. Good night. Um, so, uh, I got my dog while homeless. You know what? The dogs don't care. Uh, so, I got Peggy. She's a 
Cocker Spaniel mix, but she doesn't look like it. She looks like a tiny lab, like a tiny black lab, and she has, like, super blue eyes. And then, um, what is your problem? And then, um, I have a Palm Chi. I found her on Craigslist, and the person was, like, giving her away because she said something about her husband was allergic or something like that. And, um, I come to find out, I got her as a puppy. She's a tiny little Pomeranian Chihuahua. Um, comes to find out she's just annoying as fuck and they just wanted to get rid of her and um, I love her. That is my baby. Um, and then Rocky is the newest one and uh, he was rescued, kind of stolen, like two years ago. Because um, basically we had someone reach out to us saying that their neighbor um, had locked their dog in an outdoor like cage while they went on vacation with no water and no food and we live in South Carolina where it's hot as fuck um and the dog was and then it started to thunderstorm and you know how I said my dog Rocky's scared of storms well he was stuck with like no shelter in this thunderstorm um and had also been crying for like a long time for water and everything so anyways that person went and cut out the dog from the cage and um was looking for someone to take him in, and so that's how I got Rocky. But now he's very terrified of storms. Um, excuse me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do, 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 you saved him. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I rescued him, but I didn't, like, go in. I didn't see him in his, uh, uh, his need. I just, uh, came in, um, met him, and, um, decided to keep him when does this scarecrow get off the damn thing she's really trying to she's in love with this damn scarecrow she is you know what every single person here does not want to be with their partner none of them none of them you know who minds their business though hazel hazel minds their business look at them in their little bonnets and shit i love it i love it um dude the owners no nope show don't <laughs> um and you know what's crazy is, thank you, Bella and Louise, for the hat and mustache. You know what's, cra what's crazy is now we live on the same street <laughs> that this dog was originally on. Like, a couple houses down from his old owners. And they ain't never said shit to us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's how I got my pit bull. That is how I got my um, pit bull. That's crazy, right? And, uh, I don't think, first of all, I, I don't think my, he's such a big baby, he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Oh my lord, do you walk him a lot? We have a backyard that he, uh, is in. We don't walk the dogs down the road because, first of all, um, we live out in the country, like, on the actual fucking road. And guess what walks down the road where I live? Daily. Daily. Okay, I had to pop back in and see how it's going. We're still waiting for the actual circus to start. I'm still just fucking running my mouth coyotes okay there are coyotes here um but no just casual walks down the road horses horses go walking down the road every day um there are people on them but they just go strolling down the fucking road and i have a pit bull and i'm not trying to have i've already had a bad situation once i don't know if brenna's in here right now <sighs> one time brenna found a damn pig and um and she really tried on Facebook finding this pig's owners, but I think this was just like a damn wild pig that had once upon a time not been a wild pig, because uh, he looked really just unkept. Anyways, so really just out riding horses, just walking in front of my fucking house, riding horses all the time. Um, so Brenda found a fucking pig, and this is back when, this is back when, before I got my house last year, because I had about a year-long period in between houses where we were all living at the farm, and by all, I mean, like, 20 of us living at the farm, grandparents, parents, spouses, kids, I mean, it was really just compound, all right? We, like, I was in a t the tiny house at one point, because there's a tiny house on the property, and then Brenna was in, she had turned a shed into a house that she was living in, and then, and she's in college, um, and then the house itself, anyways, I ended up renovating a room in that house to move into instead, so I 
renovated and then stayed inside the house because I got tired of the fucking tiny house. Anyways, uh, fucking, are they about to fuck? I was feeling off today, but you turned me on. Okay, go ahead. Uh, why is she embarrassed? From left breast. Oh, she's got the, the leaky breast. Um, oh, but anyways, so we all lived on the same, like, property on the farm, and Brenna found this fucking pig in the woods, and so she brought the, uh, pig over yonder to one of the fields, and then the pig, this dumbass, gets out of the fenced-in area it was in, pushes through it. I don't know why it would do this, but it pushes through it to the fence where the dogs are. And th these dogs are very, uh, packed-like because it was my pit bull and, um, Megan's fucking, uh, lab and a Rottweiler. These three dogs hang out together, okay? They're the ones that have access to the gate in case somebody tries coming through the gate. Um, they're the ones who just run around making sure coyotes don't come on the property because there's a bunch of, like, there's also... Uh, fucking Great Pyrenees, but they're on a separate fence, okay? So, um, um, the pig goes into the fence, like, pushes itself through to the fence where the, the fucking Rottweiler and the pit bull and the lab are. <sighs> Next thing I know, I'm getting a call at the ass crack of dawn to Brenna- Oh my god, I can see them woohooing! Well, they have their little tan panties on, but damn, I was not ready for that. We can see stuff. Yeah, I just saw that. My bad. <laughs> um, don't worry. You can't see an actual ween or anything. You can just see the, the movement. Um, they're wearing tan panties. Um, that's how it was when I lived in Texas. Never a dull moment! Guess the sensor is taking a break. They have, basically, the sensor doesn't, like, blur anymore in this update. It just puts, like, tan panties on them or something. But anyways... So, Britta's calling at the ass crack of dawn, screaming, crying, talking about Rocky has the pig. And I was like, oh my fucking god. Anyways, all the men, hillbillies, run down there. And Rocky's not trying to kill him, but Rocky was trying to corral him. Because he was dragging the pig by the ear. Just holding on. And, uh, thank you, Emily, for the hat mustache! And, um... I wish my vision was 22. <laughs> Hazel is breaking it down. Um, so yeah, the pit bull had the, had the hog by the, oh, what's happening over here? Cool. Um, by the ear. And I was just dragging, dragging. And they had to beat the damn dog off of the hog before he would let go. He did not want to let go of that ear at all. So then he was in trouble. Anyways, that's that story. Um, I was so into the story, I forgot we were doing sales for a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's one of those nights where I just can't shut the fuck up. I can't shut the fuck up. I'm so sorry. My pig grabbed my pig by the neck and he had to get stitches. It was traumatic. That does sound traumatic as fuck, actually. Um, okay, they put their outfits back on. Good. Glad everybody's dressed again. Um, we need to- oh yeah, I said that- Oh, I thought that was a rat kill. There's so many cats on this property. Oh, I do need to fix the little vampire thing. Hold on. I know y'all have told me that like a thousand times. Uh, let's see these traits. Cat hangout. Mean vibe. Okay, let's take the mean vibe off and the dark key line. I'll leave the um, cat hangout uh, and I'll add in... Um, uh... I don't really like any of these for it, so I'm gonna just leave it. Um, so after your first book, your second book needs to be auto. Oh my god, y'all do not want to read an autobiography from me. I don't even know where I would begin. I literally don't even know where- first of all, if it wasn't obvious, I am the product of a teen pregnancy. Uh, yeah. A teen pregnancy where my parents weren't even in love with each other. It wasn't even like a Romeo and Juliet type, you know, we want to be together so bad. It was not even like that. Um, so I'm one of those babies. My mom is like 40, okay? Um, which I think I've sent pictures of my parents in the 
discord like my my biological mom and my biological dad are young um my existence was a whoops so was mine so was mine it would be one of those turn to page 85 then turn back to three and then page 102 yeah it would be hectic it would be hectic um and i if i was going to do an autobiography i would want to do it once i have a bunch of great stuff to talk about right now i'm still i feel like i was like really down for a while and i'm having now i'm starting to get up now it's like all of the things that were so terrible are about to all be worth it. Thank you, Sierra. Um, when my daughter turns 20, I'll be 40. Oh, okay. Um, on the ups. Yeah. Yeah. You ever have those days where you're wondering, okay, bitch, look at you in here. Thank you, Freckles, for the hand arts. You ever have those days where you're wondering, you're like, why the fuck is this happening to me? Um, I had a lot of those. And then now I'm like, it's all coming together. I'm like, you know what? I had to go through that to now experience this <laughs> and I will say some of the people that you meet that have had the worst things happen to them are the nicest people explain that to me and then some of the people I've met that are the meanest stankest fuck ass people are the ones who have had everything every opportunity to be nice and they have no reason to be so foul and it's like why why um girl i love this new life for you <laughs> me too <laughs> uh life lessons true is this so true um according to my human design analysis i'm living trial and error for the first half of my life yeah i mean that's what i mean that's what life is life is about choices and it's like just make the ones that make fucking sense um and don't don't live your life for other people except for you know making a life for your kids and things like that like don't live your life for anybody but you because you're the one living it. um check pockets for seeds do you have seeds pockets i do like the name pockets that's really cute that's really freaking cute look at her checking around oh she's feeling him up okay soon the circus is going to start oh my god i forgot we don't even have axe for two of them we don't really have acts at all. This is going to be a terrible first night. But you know what? They have to have a bad first night, so they'll be good later. They have to have a bad one now. We have a lot of rabbits. I wish we could, like, snag one. Um, um, I forgot we're supposed to be... Will y'all be mad if I make these two not vampires? I don't want them burning up in the fucking sun. I really don't want them to be vampires, deadass, because... Now I gotta worry about them having blood. Uh... Yeah, they, look at him sizzling in the sun. It's stressing me the fuck out. They don't need to be vampires. I'm glad y'all agree. I'm changing it. There's no rules. Nobody said that they have to be vampires. I mean, it was fucking funny when they became vampires. <laughs> like, remember when they were vampires and they were babies? They grew out of it. They grew out of it. And you can't tell me otherwise. Occult cheats, vampire cheats. Can we human, can we make them, uh, I know there's a way to do it. I know there's got to be a way to do it. Cheat sim info. You're on my list of things to do today. I hope I'm a priority. Damn, these people like to fuck. Can't blame them. Poor people's, uh, 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 hobby right there. Um, turn into, no, I don't want to turn into anything. I want to make you a human. I want to make you a fucking human. Turn them into spellcasters. That's what I'm about to do, because that's, I mean, if they were going to be anything. You know what? Spellcaster. You too, sir. You know, even though these two seem to fucking hate each other, they honestly kind of vibe. Like, they're always talking to each other. I guess they are the type that, like, look at them both burning up in the sun! Uh, just a phase. Yeah, they just had a little phase. Look at the bunny walking down the road. Bunnies really walk with their ass. Hmm. Okay, we have... Oh my god, the circus is starting soon. Why is he flirty? Because one of his traits is flirty. Oh my god, I can see the woohooing. Fuck! I should have told them no. You know what? Y'all stop woohooing because see how they have the little tan bras on? Everything's blurred like that. You can see the you can see the motion of the ocean though. Me too, buddy. Me too. Walking with your ass. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. 
Um, uh, if we didn't just check the lot traits, I'd say the lot is flirty. Yeah, and they have mice everywhere. I don't know what causes the mice, but I like it. I do like it. Uh, Pixie Natural History notes are top tier. <laughs> I feel like every single stream, I just drop a piece of lore on everybody that nobody fucking asked for. It reminds me of, y'all remember that era of YouTube where everybody's videos were just story times? Thank you, Tommy, for that message. Thank you, Book Dragon Lady. Do y'all remember that? Uh, can we see a mice? A mouse? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know where the fuck they are. I don't know where they are. But if I see one, I'll point it out. Um, for sure. Oh my god, girl! Put your clothes on! Damn! <sighs> These sims in their new hiddity. Like, why are you looking like that? Oh my god, thank you, Hannah, for all the hat and mustaches and for achieving that goal. Thank you so much. I love a good story time. The mice are from the cat hangout lot trait. Oh! Oh! Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. Good to know. Um, I'm gonna leave it, because I do like it. Uh, I'm setting up the next goal. I'm trying to find a pretty easy one. Actually, we'll do these, uh, the little pink heels. Um, how many people are excited about Wizard of Oz? Because I'm- Oh my god, it's starting. Um, I- Every time I see the trailer, I can't watch it because I'm like- I feel like the trailer is spoiling the whole fucking movie. So I haven't watched more than like 20 seconds of the trailer, but in those 20 seconds I was getting excited. The only thing that makes me not excited is everybody keeps talking shit on Ariana Grande. And when I look at her, I see Ariana Grande. Um, I kind of wish they would have done like an unknown. I love whenever like movies and stuff have an actor or actress that nobody knows. So I can just associate the character with the character, you know what I mean? Um, I really like that. <laughs> um, same, ex yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for singing for the heels. Like, how am I supposed to look at Glinda knowing that she's getting woohooed by, you know, you've seen. We all saw the tea. Um, okay. The circus is beginning. I can't wait to see who shows up. Deadass. I don't even remember who is supposed to show up. Um, we're gonna get her to come sit in here in her little, um, cause she's the fortune teller, okay? We need to get her in the little, where's our fortune telling room? Not this. Ooh, I forgot we got the damn bind to, <gasps> we could bind the doll to somebody. She should bind it to her man so that if he if she catches him cheating, she can punish him. Um, girl, you look good. What do you mean you can't do it? She's always talking about what she can't do. This is why we need to clean up this place. They can't even hardly fucking walk around the place. Um, Ariana is kind of what killed my hype. Um, where's Doris at? I don't know if Doris would come for the first night. First of all, look at everybody, look at- Okay, you are in the wrong outfit, Cage. I don't know what the hell you're wearing, but this is not allowed. Not allowed at all. Get in your regular damn outfit. The Mad Hatter has showed up. Shown? Shona? Um, not surprising in the slightest. Uh, looks like Adam Grimm is here. Um, hey everybody, come to- Kendrick! We've been seeing Kendrick a lot lately. Kendrick is out and about. Kendrick is coming around town. Um, are the boys still vampires? No, I just changed them. Um, where is my fortune telling room? I know that I have one. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's in here. Okay, I'm gonna get her to come sit over here so that she can start telling people their fortunes. Um, and we need somebody to come sit over here too. Let's seat, uh... We can do alopecia more. Granny, Granny, let's come tell you. She's going to be like, look, honey, I'm going through a divorce. He left me for a younger woman. I'm trying not to kill him. Should I kill him? Should I kill him both? But then I got to take care of all these children by myself. <laughs> uh, Kendrick wants to be known. Exactly. Where has Kendrick been? Right now he's watching our fucking TV, apparently. What you doing in here, Kendrick? Oh, my God, I can't even see. 
He just plopped down. Okay, Kendrick. Um, hi, hello, Mary. Here is our... Oh, my God. I have to take a picture of her. This is too cute. This is actually too cute. Hold on. I love... I love... I love... I love... I love... The circus people are turning into one of my faves. Not gonna lie. Not going to lie. Uh... Okay. Okay. Grady with the curls out? Okay. <laughs> you are so funny. Aw, thanks. Thank you, Mirna, for the rose. She came in her jumpsuit. Her, her, uh, her romper. This isn't a romper. What the fuck you call this? Is it just a jumpsuit? Her sequined, uh, first of all, Lord Farquaad left her when she's got them chest bubbles? At her age with them chest bubbles looking like that? He's a loser. He's a loser. Uh, not Caleb. Caleb in the cage. What you doing in there, uh, bestie? Uh, we got Emily showing up. Of course she's here. We've really got some of the the weirdos showing up tonight, and I love it. Uh, and weirdos in a good way. Um, thank you, Caitlin, for the heels. Uh, and here it looks like the Mad Hatter is checking out things, getting a piece of candy. Why are you not wearing a... You know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Oh, he's tired. Hold on. I'll fix your... I'll fix your day. Why does it still say you're a vampire? I thought you were supposed to be a spellcaster. Thank you, Unicorn Farts for the heels. Um, hold on, let me try again. Uh, cheats, occult cheats, spellcaster. Oh, shit, he's a vampire and a spellcaster. Fuck. Uh, change bloodline. Ooh, ancient bloodline strong. Ancient. Um, anyways, you only did the one. Well, it says he's a spellcaster too. Huh. Well, and yeah, both of them are spellcasters and fucking vampires now. Damn it! I'll fix that later. Anyways, um, y'all need- okay, hold on. One dude, I need you to come over here. Where's our little toy thing? You know, I'll just buy a new one. I'm gonna place down a new little toy thing so we can show people our 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 uh our baby's tricks. Um, we're gonna put this one down right here, right here, and then we're going to put this in inventory. And actually, I think I can just drag it. And we are going to where should we perform? You know what, we might need an actual arena for whenever Cheeto is bigger, but for right now, I guess we'll just go right here to play with Cheeto. Cheeto, get over here. And I'm gonna fix Cheeto's needs too. And we're gonna show everybody our, you know what, maybe Casket is gonna be our lion, oh, this isn't a lion, it's a tiger, but our tiger tamer. What do they call him? Ti not tamer, I don't know. Tiger boy. Look at Granny getting her fucking fortune uh, in here. Hold on, let's get her to definitely discuss a little bit. Um, 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 friendly, friendly introduction. Um, trainer, animal tamer, trainer. Okay, yeah, the tiger trainer. Look at this baby! Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I fucking love this. I love it. Now, this is only night one at the circus, and I realize it might be a bit of a mess right now. A bit of a mess, but you know what? It will get better. It'll get better. Our little baby. One day he's gonna be so big. One day Cheeto is gonna be so big. Nobody watched our act. Nobody watched our act. I don't even see most of the, where's, where's all of our people? We invited so many people for our opening night. Um, there's people just sitting over there, probably just talking about our circus. Um, a lot of people are in here. Oh, we're showing them some magical things in here. Um, 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 thank you, Bella and Louise. Um, we are going to show them how we can cook a, a spell in our... That was loud. That was loud. You're still on. My husband had to leave or had to have me pick. 
Oh my god, I'm my brain. You're still on. My husband had to fuck. Now it's gone. My husband had to have me pick him up because he drank too much. What a good wife you are, for real. Um, trades remove trade. Oh my god, I cannot type all that right now. I think I'm just gonna get them that little drink that removes it. To be honest. Um, she's like, look, here I am making my mac and cheese in this cauldron. She's about to set the whole fucking building on fire. Also, look at the skeleton upside down. Hee 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 hee. Cute. And, um, 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 he's just in here dancing. He's just in here dancing with the clowns. Dancing with the fucking clowns. Um, I love how long you're going tonight. I finished my walk and now I can just chill and look at the cute cats and bunnies. Thank you, Cass. Um, we have a horse here. There is a horse that has shown up for our circus. Granny's still in there talking about her fortune. Where'd the horse go? Oh, <gasps> don't fuck with my cat. Well, my tiger. Look at this big ass horse looking at the tiger. Looking at Cheeto. Oh, so cute. Oh, do not. Do not. Why is this horse trying to fuck with us? What's your name, sir? Dynamo? That's a fire name, I'm not gonna lie. But still. And his fun is low. Oh my god. Literally trying to, oh no, voodoo, daze. Marzi feels strangely dazed as though she has hit her head. Did you do some bad voodoo? Look at her going cross-eyed right now with her little gold teeth. Her little golden tooth, look at it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't think you can see her. You can see just barely her gold tooth in there. Look at it. Um... <gasps> Look what uh, Ebony said. She said, you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Not Granny growing on her. She's like, you know what? I'm having a great... I think she's having the most successful first night. She... They're really discussing shit in here. Really. Um, hoping for fangs. The... Oh my god. Don't tell me y'all are pregnant again. Please, God. I can't deal with this. You know what? Come take a pregnancy test. Just... I just need to know. And if they're vampires again, I don't even... Do you need to take one too? Both of y'all come take... Okay, she doesn't need a pregnancy test. Only one of them does. Whoo! I really... And it better be a girl if you are having another... Because I can't do another boy. All the... <gasps> Mama Bear! Mama Bear, I don't know what you're wearing, girl. I don't know what you are... Wearing. Um... Um... We need to do an act in here. With our... Okay, you are gonna come sleep in here and your man is going to come uh 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 massage controls on the casket you know what they don't have their act here eating for two about to be the main act. Oh, I need a crib. Hold on. Hold on. The main act of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh Um, unassisted birth. And then, obviously, what we need right here, I need our bearded lady to come over. Oh, my God. And she's got her ass out. Great. Great. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Where is my bearded lady? Oh, coming. You know what they say. You know what they say. Thank you, Sierra. Okay, she's doing a really great job. Um, this is her second birth. Daddy-O is over here panicking a little bit, but it is absolutely 100% fine. Why are we scared? Go ahead. Keep on singing. As you should. It's a girl! It's a girl! I wasn't prepared 
with names. Mm. We have Casket. We have Cage. Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the confetti. Take it. <laughs> ringlet. Ringlet Ring Hopper. Show Business. Main Act. Voodoo. Surprise. Whipney. Not Whipney. Crystal Ball. Oh my god, Crystal Ball Ring Hopper. Mystic. I like Mystic too. I like Mystic too. Hold on. Uh, how do I do? I, I think I might actually. Okay. Uh, pull. Hello, bitch. Okay, I have it. I think. Text pull. Um. Wait. Okay. Um. Name. Options. We have Mystic. We have, uh, ooh, Mirage. Okay, add an option. Okay, ticket. And then we have, um, um, trapeze. And then we have, um, 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 thank you, Burry Center. There was another one I liked. What was that other one I liked? Crystal Ball. Yes, Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. And then, um, surprise. I missed it. Whose baby is it? It's Ebony's, our fortune teller. Um, Crystal Ball and Pockets. We already have the pockets of the, uh, popcorn. <laughs> um, finale. Oh my god. Oh, god damn it. I did the thing wrong. This is why I don't try to do the polls. This is the wrong type of poll. Hold on, I'm gonna do another one. Poll. Uh, text poll. You can't create a new vote before the existing one. <sighs> Mother fucker. Hold on. Um, um, poll. This is why I don't do this shit, y'all. This is why I do not even add a question. Name? Hee 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 Okay, I think I remember most of them. Mystic, Crystal Ball. Ticket. Uh, 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 finale. And, um, um. I'm scrolling up. Mirage was one. And, uh, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Okay, I think I got most of the, um, of the, okay, I think I got, yes, I have enough. Manual or customized. We're just gonna do one minute. Okay. The poll is going. Oh, wait, no, it's not. The poll is now going. Um, and it's only a one minute long poll. So, there it goes. Um, who's her baby daddy? Her husband, this motherfucker right here. What's his name? Skip. He has a great name. I gave him a great name. Skip. <laughs> Skip Ringhopper. Are you joking? Skip Ringhopper. Any fucks her in the, the room with mirrors? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, don't forget to scroll with the poll. The ringmaster and fortune teller's daughter. Exactly. Exactly. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Um, Mystic and Crystal Bar are neck and neck. Let me check. Let me check. Sorry, I look naked. <laughs> um, it looks like Crystal Ball has two more votes than three more votes than Mystic. I really, I think my two favorites are Crystal Ball and Mirage. I really, I'm surprised Mirage only has eight votes. I thought that was a really good one. I did like Ticket, um, Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball just won. Crystal Ball it is. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, well, not right the second, but, you know, in the future, for you YouTube watchers, does it annoy y'all the parts where there's polls going and you can't see shit? Or are you just zone out while it's going on? Or you zoom forward? I don't know. I've always wondered, like, y'all, I don't cut it out of the lives because um 
I don't know. I just leave it in there. But <laughs> uh, they were all really good. Yeah, I really liked um, those names. Uh, I also wonder if people scroll past my rants on YouTube. Like, when I talk for so fucking long. I wonder if, like, people like listening to that part or if they just skip forward to whenever I'm playing. Um, especially when we can't see the gifts. Yeah, I wish I could show y'all. I wish it would show on the screen that, like, th the things that come across the screen that I see. Like, when people send, like, um, like, confettis and things like that. I can see them. Um... When I watch on YouTube, it doesn't bother me, but maybe read the poll options out loud. Okay. Uh, I usually watch it in two times speed. Oh my god. Uh, but we have Crystal Ball Ring Hopper. Here comes the baby. Here comes the baby. She wasn't sunny side up. She wasn't sunny side up. And we have a new baby. Amazing. Amazing! We don't know what she'll be. I like the idea of a trapeze artist. Um, but we'll just have to see. Uh, I just leave YouTube playing. I had no idea that, uh, the gifts have animations. I have, also, if you're ever wanting to support me in a free way, most of my videos recently are monetized. So, if you ever want some just me talking ambiance, or just want to leave a video playing, like, pretty much all of my most recent videos are all monetized. So, yeah. Um, cheerful. Aw, so cute! So cute! Hazel singing is hilarious. I can't hear it. I literally- Granny said, y'all are about as bad as the damn swamp! She said, did you just shit a- she said, girl, we were just in there talking. Did you come out here and shit out a baby? Damn, she's trying to get in shape immediately. Look at all these people who watched our grand finale. Look at them. They watched our grand finale. Could you make a playlist of monetized videos? Um, yeah. I had started making one a while back, and then the videos that were monetized changed. But, dead ass, like, recently, all of them have been getting monetized. I don't know how. I don't know how, but they have. Um, but yeah, I'll add that to my list uh, of things to do. Um, not the naked sit-ups. Butt-ass naked sit-ups. For real. Where's my baby? Somebody come age this baby up! Do, 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 do. Look at everybody leaving the circus. I think that was a great grand finale. What more could they have asked for? Does the place need cleaning up in public bathrooms? Maybe. Do we need to get some more of our acts in order? Probably. But were the costumes great? Yeah. There's the baby. Let me turn on create a soon dot full edit mode. Let's see her. Uh, this is pulling ha rabbits out of hats is boring. Watch this. No, literally. Yeah, like we pulled a whole, we created and pulled a whole baby out. Um, amazing opening night, right? Um, so this is video's older sister. I love the th oh my god, why does it do this sometimes? We gotta go back out. Um, I think we need someone to age this baby up for the next merch drop. I have so many things that are possibilities for the next merch drop, but we have a while before another one. I have been loving, loving, loving seeing pictures of everybody in their merch. Um, I've been wearing my earlier today before I was in here because I have to change a lot of times to come in this room because it gets really hot in here. Um, but, uh, throughout the day I've been wearing my Hell Yeah Brother t-shirt because it's so goddamn comfortable. Um, and then I just got sent a picture of one of y'all wearing yours, so it was super cute. Uh, so many hilarious quotes. Love you, Pixie. Love you. Love my merch. I'm so glad y'all are loving your merch. <sighs> it's been a really great, a really great merch drop. Um, okay, let's see if- Oh, look at her and her rainbow! Right in time, it's about to be June. Represent. Um, okay, come over here. And let's try again. I'm wearing my far, far away from your wife right now. I love that. I love that. It still gets chilly here in Washington. It is hot as fuck here. It is hot. At Why is this doing this? Okay, let me click on one of the brothers to go on to create a sim. Because I don't know why it's not pulling up the actual thing. I want the Broker's Tank. Uh, I think people are liking those. However, I will say, if you get the man cut of it, 
your your chest bubbles might uh be uh 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 visible <laughs> um just so you know um i love my shirts are big on me i love it that's how i like my shirts roomy and comfy mm -mm 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 -mm. damn this baby does not want to be seen aged up i i wore my hell yeah brother at disney the other day oh i really so y'all know how i'm going on this book retreat y'all are probably tired of hearing me talk about the same things over and over again but i'm still the same person every day when we come on here um but i go on my book retreat in less than two weeks and um um i'm gonna be taking notes on this retreat to see how it goes because i would like to plan one of these myself it's like a pixie retreat sometime in the future so i can get to meet a bunch of a bunch of y'all and hang out and everything um why is this being fucking weird what is going on? Um, but I would maybe want to do it somewhere like Florida, where Disney is and stuff. So is there, if there was a day that people wanted to do Disney, could you imagine all of us going to go see some of these characters at either Disney or Universal? Because at Universal, they have like Shrek and shit. Shrek shit. <laughs> Remember when uh, Strumple's name was Shrek shit? Um, I would love to go on book retreat with y'all. That'd be so fun. I'm down for a pixie retreat. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I think it would be really fucking fun. So I'm gonna be taking notes on this retreat I go on in two weeks and seeing like what kind of works, what doesn't. Damn, everybody's so cheerful. Um, everybody is so cheerful. Huh. Huh. Universal for sure. I would just like to say that I think I am the perfect amount of uh uh famous is not the word that i'm looking for but um where i'm at right now with my following i think is like the sweet spot of like i am able to live off of my income like a normal job but i am not like so freaking famous or anything to where I can't get to know the people that watch me if that makes sense like I feel like I get to I know uh, pretty much everybody's name that comments I know y'all's pictures and stuff like that like when we're talking in the discord it does not feel like you know weird it feels like I know y'all you know what I mean like so I feel like it is like the perfect sweet spot um of I don't think I would want to other than my book like obviously I want my book to be popular and everything but as far as like streaming and things like this like I feel like this is like perfect like I have no desire to be any bigger than this <laughs> um because this is like perfect like I can survive and be able to work on my writing and everything and get to hang out with y'all and I've made like all of my like great friends uh in discord and uh everything like that um or the cake because it changes the creation oh no i missed the first part of your message shit um okay here we go here we go here is crystal ball ring hopper you know who she looks like right now she's looking a lot like zayden roy orson my baby daddy um but let's see her uh all grown up um are you ready one two three oh she looks like her mom she's cute she's really cute actually no because i can see i've got a clear vision oh, oh my god the karma hair she literally kind of looks a lot like karma too um i've got a very clear vision of how uh uh cute she could be um i could also definitely see her being a trapeze artist uh what the hell is this anyways um thank you emily for the heels like we gave her kind of the same vibe as everybody else hold on Mm, oh my god thank you emily for sending so many heels I, this is giving game of thrones right here or something i really like that maybe not for what we're trying to accomplish here but i really did like that look um doo -doo -doo. 
Do, 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 do. So let's do some heavy blush. This is not heavy enough for me. Maybe. Also, before I end the live tonight, I'm giving Unicorn Fart to Sim a boob job post baby. Because when I first made her Sim, she complained that her boobs are not big enough. So I'm about to make them fucking huge tonight um, while I'm thinking about it. Um, but yeah, she's really fucking cute. Um, do I have like a cutier, patootier? Why is the hair on masculine? Is there something I don't know here? Female, physical frame, female, clothing preference, feminine. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Um, let's see. Why is this little hair so cute? Maybe not for the vibe I'm going for, but that was really cute. Um, I also really fuck with that. Really and truly. Really and truly. She's really cutie patootie. She's really freaking cutie patootie. I'm gonna be giving her like a full makeover off screen uh but just to put her in something for now i'll probably i could get her matching with her mama i could have her just matching with her fucking mom <laughs> no i won't do that to her um no absolutely not not that uh thank you chelsea for resubscribing i don't know what i'm gonna put her in i don't know what the hell i'm gonna put her in for now Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the hand hearts. Um, trapeze feels colorful. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna have to do some research on what the fuck trapeze... Don't they wear, like, gymnast kind of outfits? Mm, I'm gonna just leave her in this for now, and I'm gonna give her a full makeover later, like how I did the other ones. And we'll, um see that later uh i'm gonna give her okay she got the creative athletic and i guess we'll do cheerful for her third trait and then also she's not a vampire Ar she must be an archaeology scholar uh let's not do that let's do Mm, maybe wellness. I can see her doing inner peace. This sim is on a quest to achieve inner peace. Okay. I can see that. Maybe not cheerful. I feel like there's too many cheerful people. Creative, athletic. I can see that for a trapeze artist. Artistic. Should we do artistic? In their artistic art lover? We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, body suits and fishnets are what they wear. Oh, okay. Hold on. I can do that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm still gonna give her, you know, uh, a deserving makeover later. But for now, but for now, we could do, where are my fishnets? Here they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, what do you do? Oh, not that one. Thank you, Bella and Louise. I guess that other one was probably better. Unless we did just like a straight up black one. But I kind of like that this one had the little like cutout. Yeah, that's cute. Hold on. And now we can give her some more like. I do like that hair. Hold on. And then a hat, perhaps. I feel like I get a lot of hat vibes from the circus. Oh my god, not that. No, take it off. Immediately. Uh, thank you, Unicorn Farts. Uh, Y'all got a purple one of these? I'm not fucking with that hat. 
I'm not fucking, and the other girl has a hat. I do have this little Joker one, too. I did kind of want to give somebody a, uh, not Joker. What the hell, what's, what is, uh, Jester? I did want to give somebody, like, a jester vibe, but nobody's, like, fit the bill. You know what I mean? Um... None of these headpieces are really... And this is what her mama wears. None of these are giving what I want them to give. She doesn't fit the vibe. No, she doesn't fit. This little thing is so cute, but not for her. Uh, I guess she's not gonna have a hat. Because none of these are giving trappy... I don't think trappies artists even wear a fucking hat. <laughs> I, I'm reaching. I'm truly reaching. Um, what about a little... A little necklace maybe I love how I say I'm going to do this later and then here I am just fucking going on and on doing it okay she looks cute she looks fine for now I'll do more later um now we're they usually have their hair up mm, y'all don't mind me just doing one last little thing there is this little vampire hair that looks very circusy to me but I do use it for like all of my goddamn vampires too um, this hair is cute. I know it's like the Rapunzel hair, but, uh, I think it is cute for, like, a trapeze artist. Rapunzel doesn't own this hair. It, she doesn't own this hair. She can't tell me what to do. That's adorable. That's cute as fuck. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, let's go give Unicorn Farts big boobs. Um, real quick. Hee 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 hee. Hee hee I'm still drinking this watered down ass coffee. <laughs> Thank you, Unicorn Farts and Confetti. Um, Unicorn Farts lives. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank you, British Center. Uh, Brit first of all, Unicorn Farts, where are you? She's at the new tavern. There is a new tavern in town because now we have a uh, Shawnee who lives over here. If you haven't already watched my video on TikTok on, on her, she's my newest follower, Sim. Uh, I really, really love her story, um, as I love all of them. But you know, now she's my new one. <laughs> um, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Sierra, for all the heels. Um, let's go in here, and um. Here's baby vintage shark. Hey, Vinny. With his little rainbow shirt on. Pride month. Pride month. Almost. I started early. Just like a birthday. You kind of got to like, like, whatever the time frame is, you got to make it a little longer. You know, your birthday's a day. You celebrate kind of the whole month. Um, Pride month. It's a month. You celebrate it a little bit in May. I don't know. And I'm not gay. But, I do love gay people. <laughs> I do. Um, okay, we're gonna come in here. And, so these are the boobs that she said are just not fucking big enough. They're not big enough. Um, so, here we go. Okay, we don't want to make them, hold on. Is this the max? And Unicorn Farts has fake boobies in real life. She says they're the best thing that's ever happened to her. It's looking like these are as big as I can make your tits. You want them a little higher or you a little lower? It is cutting into your necklace. Just a little bit. But d dare I say them things are fucking huge. Lower. <laughs> okay, we don't want to lose the sizing on it. Okay, I think that height really shows off your necklace. We could go lower, though. We could go lower. We could go lower. We could also go into your ass a little bit, too, if we want to. Now, I think I already gave you a great ass, but we could go further in. Um, if you want. Call me Dr. Miami, because I'm coming in with the skizzers. <laughs> <laughs> they look great. <laughs> Unicorn Farts will never need a life jacket with those. <laughs> oh my god. 
looks amazing. My favorite picture of Unicorn Farts' chest bubbles are in her wedding dress. If you've ever gone in the Discord where people are sending pictures and stuff, I it lives rent-free in my head, actually. And it was a while back that Unicorn Farts sent the photo of when she got married. I ain't forgot. Great boobs. Really great. Um, but yeah, Unicorn Farts looks fantastic. Maybe we should give her a new dress for new tits. Uh... I don't know. There's, I don't have a lot of like colorful, colorful. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. That's a really, really nice dress. We could switch it up. We could switch it up. She has been wearing that other dress for a while. I do like this. I do really, really, really like this. Those match better. Those match a lot better. Wait till Shrock sees. He's gonna be laying it down. He is gonna be laying it down. I was gonna change her necklace, but actually I kind of like that pop of like pinkish purple with the like lilac color. Um, and then we could do some some nails, perhaps. That Matt, she has like the little pinky nails right now. I'm gonna give her some big ass nails. Then look, it ties it all together. It really does. Um, Unicorn Price is so femme. So we're going to give her... I'm going to give her a second outfit too. That's like the opposite vibe. Take the nails off. <laughs> Take them the fuck off. Um, let's do one that's a little bit more... Bro. <laughs> I don't know. Um, ooh, maybe not more bro, but more like... Is this giving biker? But biker in a good way? Um, um, um. Let's put some pants on her. Let's put some pants on unicorn farts. Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's not what I'm wanting to give. No. No, 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 no. Mmm. I'm looking. Now, I do like this shirt in general. I do like this shirt in general. Um, the necklace is peeping through. <gasps> Bring your eyelashes back. No, not the eyelashes disappearing. The necklace came back, but not the eyelashes. You know, we did say, no, I'm bringing her eyelashes back. She slays in them. We're wearing them. Just a little, just a little lash. Mm. Dare I say I'm turning the feminine thing off. Just to see all the options. Ooh, okay, I know we said, I know I said we're doing, okay. Uniform parts, you might get two very feminine outfits. Because look how good her boobs look in this shirt. Now, we could do it black. We could give her a little black outfit. We could give her a little black outfit. Um, with this shirt. Because this shirt is fucking cute. This shirt is fucking cute. Is it not? Mmm. And with the jeans, it's really cute maybe cargo pants instead of these jeans look at her butt look at her fucking butt we're gonna take her you're telling me first of all it's gonna take three business days to get her ass out of them jeans now second of all um it looks so good hold on shoes mm, boots not those boots Mmm, some little, I do like these. I, uh, I do like these. Um, now this is an outfit, right? Hell yeah, brother. Um, another baby incoming for sure. Thank you, Faith, for the heartbeat. Now let's give her, you know what, I'm not even gonna give her a necklace. We don't even want to distract from what's going on right there. 
Instead, we're gonna give her some sunglasses. Don't look me in the eyes. Look down. It's like the opposite. They look up here. No, 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 no. They're new. Look down here. Um, and then we are going to... I'm gonna change up her hair for this one, too. Not that. I think we need, like, a blonde wig. Like, a blonde fucking... I guess it's gonna be blue, because her other hair is... Well, I could change it. There are no rules. We could do long ass hair too um this is cute on her this is super fucking cute on her and we could do the unicorn parts of the confetti some earrings too let's put a fucking rock on her ear those are from shrock those are from shrock and don't fucking confuse it um the spark plug hair. Yeah. But right now it's the unicorn farts hair. I know I said I wasn't going to do a necklace. I got to take a peek at them. I got to take a peek at them. Just see how a necklace would do for us. Not that one. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Thank you, Megs, for the galaxy. Thank you so much. That was so nice. Thank you. Um, I don't like the choker. You know what? I think really none of these necklaces are doing anything for her because... This one is cute. I do like this necklace. I do like that little... It has a little moon on it and a little crystal. I do like that a lot. I do like that... What's this one? No, that other one looked better. That other one definitely looked better. Um, and then as far as her accessories down here, let's see some rings. First of all, we know she's got a fucking rock on her finger as she is engaged. Um, we're gonna give her a purple ring on her finger. Cute as fuck. Fingernails. Daggers. Literal claws. Um, gotta have something to draw the eyes! <laughs> um, and then maybe a little bracelet, perhaps. Ooh, the rainbow watch. That's not rainbow. Hold on. Mm, you know what? Fuck the watch. We don't need to know what time it is. It's always our time. Always our time. What about this little cutie patootie thing? Mm. No, distracting from her boobs. Um. What about... What is this? What the hell is that? No. Mm, what about... Uh... Just a little bracelet. You know what? Fuck it, we don't need a bracelet. Everything is taking away from the look. We don't need a bracelet. She looks fucking good. Unicorn Farts looks fantastic. Uh, thank you, Ren, for the let them cook. She looks fantastic, okay? Amazing. Doris is gonna freak the fuck out when they go to IHOP for their next day at IHOP. Because you know Doris and Unicorn Farts hang out. You know Doris is going to be like, girl, did you get new titties? <laughs> the unicorn parts of the confetti. So freaking cute. She looks amazing, as always. As freaking always. Um, I have been streaming for two hours now. Sorry to go an hour over, but I was having a good time. <laughs> um, so, uh, sorry, in a way. In a way. Um, we'll be on Discord after this. Don't forget to put in your nominations for Pixie of the Month. It could even be someone that you've just chatted with one-on-one -on -one that's really made your day. Or someone you see in the comments on the streams that every time you see them comment, you they are just cracking you the fuck up. Or it could be someone who seems to always be there in the Discord where you're just chatting about stuff and whatever. It could be, you could nominate them for fucking anything, okay? Um, and yeah, it's a Google form. You put your nomination. You can do as many nominations as you want, but it's not a vote. It's, you're just nominating them, and the Ministry of Magic's gonna go through them and, like, pick somebody each month. So don't worry. It's not a popularity contest. Don't stress out. There's no, this isn't prom or anything. Uh, we're just wanting to, uh, do something special for each other every month. So that is, that is the drawing tonight for the Sim Experience. No, we did the drawing for that this past Friday, so the next one is next Friday. Um, 
So yeah, we have one week, because it's every two weeks that we do a uh, drawing for that. So if you haven't already entered into the Picture Rollerverse experience, you should, because you have a week from today to enter for the next one, which I'm super excited about. I hope everyone enjoyed this live. Um, I don't know if I'll be going live this weekend or not, but I will let y'all know. Um, and yeah, I love you so much. Good night.